Green Packaging, presented by Red Crown Crate. What did you tabal for your family yesterday? Hmm, I bought chicken rice, McDonald's and Thai fan. Do you realize that there is a lot of styrofoam boxes being used? Oh really? Let me show it to you. Now, let's take a look at the statistics for Singapore domestic waste. You see, there is an increasing trend of domestic waste. One third of this waste comes from packaging material and 50% of the household domestic waste is F&B packaging. Out of all this F&B packaging waste, styrofoam is commonly found. Even though styrofoam is widely used, it is very harmful to the environment. Then, what other alternatives do we have? We can use paper box, which is more eco-friendly. Now, let's take a look at the comparison between styrofoam and paper box. The life cycle of styrofoam and paper consists of production, consumption, and disposal. Firstly, we will start with production. Petroleum is a non-renewable resource and paper uses less petroleum which slows down depletion. Although trees were cut, they can be reforested to ensure sustainability. Despite less resources being used for styrofoam, it uses CFC which damage our ozone layer. Apart from CFC, it also uses toxic and hazardous chemicals. Secondly is consumption. Paper uses natural fiber which is safe for consumption. As compared to styrofoam, there is a danger of migration of chemicals when they interact with hot and acidic food, which poses health risks. Paper is scrap resistant. It is easy to store and serve many other functions. However, paper is a poorer conductor of heat as compared to styrofoam, which is also cheaper to produce. Lastly is disposal. Both are common in our landfill. Styrofoam is non-biodegradable, whereas paper is biodegradable, but it releases a greenhouse gas called methane. In general, both can be recycled, but recycling styrofoam is more energy intensive with marginal savings. In addition, well-designed paper containers can be washed and kept by consumers for other uses. Paper box is indeed useful, but why are store owners still using styrofoam boxes? Well, let's see what the store owners have to say. Why do you use styrofoam box instead of paper box for food packaging? Because styrofoam is cheap law, it's so good what? Because I can stack many boxes so I can serve my customer faster. Then do you know that styrofoam is not eco-friendly and it's harmful to our health? Yeah, I know it's bad for the environment, but then paper box is not practical as well. I got used it before. Sometimes when I serve the customer, the base is quite hot, you know, especially when it's soup. Aya, even though styrofoam is harmful to our health, everyone is still using it. If the government is not able to use it, you can use it. Yes, thank you. Hi auntie, do you know the benefits of using paper box as a packaging? No, can you use paper box as packaging? Meh? What about the gravy? Won't it leak out? Oh, okay, thank you. Now, let's hear from the expert, Leonard Lau, Managing Director of Microwave Packaging. I think it's, I think it's a selfishness. Aiyah, you know, I can charge you for it. Why I care? Eh, why do I care so much? Eh, I don't need to wash. Ah. Why should I care so much? Mm -hmm. It's very difficult because customers look at it as an expenses. It's a cost. It's a cost. Foam is a ingle. Foam cap pin. Then I say foam bohu ah, bo. Yeah, this is Jingwu Wei Taiji. Jingwu Bo Feng Li Gong. So store owners use styrofoam just because it is cheaper. Store owners are not the ones consuming the food contained in the styrofoam, so this is not a concern to them. Furthermore, styrofoam is cheap, so this helps to maximize their profit as well. Isn't that ethical egoism? Yes, you are right. In addition, store owners feel that this is the norm as the majority of them are using it. Oh, that's a conventional approach. How can we overcome this issue? We should raise awareness to advocate the usage of paper box. However, we need the government's help. An example is Suki Sushi, whereby they are switching from styrofoam to paper box. To encourage such positive green behaviour, Singapore Packaging Agreement was initiated. Sharing sessions which minimise greenwashing will help. To truly become a clean and green Singapore, we require the cooperation of the government, the community, the store owners, and most importantly, individuals like you and I. Yo, my best friend, best friend till the very end, cause best friends, best friends don't